thousands of flights were cancelled or delayed, electricity was shut, schools were closed and people were asked to stay indoors as the US faced one of its worst weather events in near time. We have a detailed report. Take a look. At least two people were killed, hundreds of thousands of premises were left without power and thousands of flights were cancelled or delayed after intense storms lashed much of the eastern United States. Millions of people were under severe weather alerts, including tornado watches, as rain, strong winds and hails swept east along nearly the entire eastern seaboard from Alabama to New York. The National Weather Service had predicted a moderate risk of hazardous storms with gusts up to 80 miles per hour. The storm's spread was massive with tornado watches and warnings posted across 10 states from Tennessee to New York. The area of greatest concern centered in the Washington-Baltimore region. As much of the severe weather danger subsided into the late evening, some areas faced flood threats as it continued to rain. Hail as large as 4.5 inches in diameter was recorded in Virginia. In Alabama, a 28-year-old man died after being struck by lightning in an industrial park. And in South Carolina, a 15-year-old was killed when he was hit by a falling tree outside his grandparents' house. By late Monday, more than 700,000 premises had lost power along the East Coast. Over 1,700 U.S. flights were cancelled on Monday and some 8,000 delayed. As the severe weather loomed, the Flight Aware website stated. More than a quarter of the cancellations were at Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport, which was digging out from disruptions caused by Sunday storms. The Federal Aviation Administration said it was rerouting planes around storms heading to the East Coast and warned it would likely start pausing flights in and out of the New York City area, Philadelphia, Washington DC, Charlotte and Atlanta. The White House pushed by up to 90 minutes President Joe Biden's departure on a four-day trip that's taking him to Arizona, New Mexico and Utah. The storms came as large parts of the southern United States, including Texas, Louisiana and Florida, boiled under excessive heat warnings with temperatures up to 108 degrees Fahrenheit predicted through Tuesday. Scientists say climate change has amplified the intensity and frequency of extreme weather events around the world. International Desk, Notice Live.